G'day everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're heading out on a spearfishing mission with Ollie Craig and we have got some fantastic conditions which is really good because it's been pretty ugly lately. So yeah we're going to get stuck into it, we're going to spear a bunch of fish, we're going to stay in a cabin and we're going to take some of the fish that we've speared throughout the day, cook it up for a mean feed. Stay tuned for the action. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at that. Magical. It's a beautiful day and it's finally happened. You guys have been asking for it for a while, but I am meeting up with Ollie and we're heading out on a mission to one of these islands out here. We're gonna stay overnight, we're gonna do a whole lot of diving and uh, have a great time, have a bit of a cook up. Should be all good, let's get into it. All right, we made it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Right. How are you Ollie? It's happening. <laughs> Finally doing it eh? Finally doing it, yeah. it over we're gonna get rid of the majority of the gear we got in the boat get all suited up get our stuff all situated up in the cabin and uh, yeah then we're gonna get into a bit of diving looking forward to it Maybe you don't want to show this coat. <laughs> yes, it works. <laughs> Sweet. That's nice. All right. Here we go. A little bunk room. We've got some benches. Mint. That's home for tonight. And we can dump our gear and just get out there. Awesome. It's going to be a choice place to stay. Alrighty, first spot and we are on a little pin that's a wee way offshore. Kind of hoping that we might find a uh, king or some pink mau mau or something here. It looks pretty, pretty green, but it might be, a, might be better than it looks, we're hoping. We'd only been in the water for a very short time actually and Ollie called me over. Kingies, kingies, kingies. So I raced over there and took a dive and Ollie had already dived on them and you could hear his gun go off there. And I know he's managed to shoot a kingfish so kind of watch him for a little bit and then head on down just to see what's in the skull. And they soon come surrounding me. Nice big school of fat kingfish. These were all really nice sized kingfish. And I half think about shooting one, but I know Ollie's on one. And I don't really want to tangle up. 
And we've only just started our trip, so I decide I'll go back to the surface and see if Ollie needs a second shot or anything. Ah! Did yours rip off? Oh, it's on. Oh, yeah, sweet. So, yeah, I just lie on the top, watch Ollie fighting his kingfish, and make sure that no shark's going to come in and try and take it off him. And then when he's got it close to him, I dive down and just watch him finish off the fight, basically. Get this pretty cool shot of him uh, fighting the fish from underneath. And at this stage, he's got the fish pretty tired, so he's pretty much done it. It's just the final stages of the fight. Nice, big, fat, strong, powerful fish. And he's done a fantastic job of plugging it. And uh, gets his hand to it, gets the knife into its brain. And that is the first fish on the board. So Ollie takes his fish back to the boat. And while he's dealing with it, I make another drop. Now on top of this massive school of sweep here, with these beautiful pink Mau Mau hanging out off to the side. And really what I'm after here is one of those pink Mau Mau. So I'm trying to, trying to line one up, trying to get close to them, but they're all being a little bit shy. And then I look over here and this is a school of Trevally coming in. Nice, beautiful Trevally. And then when that one comes in range, I plug it with a nice shot. Yeah, nice eating sized fish and uh, I'm pretty stoked because they're great sashimi. So on the next drop down, once again, I am schooled by this massive school of Trevally. And it's only on this drop that I really get an idea of how many there are here. There are simply hundreds and hundreds of them. Awesome, awesome sight to see. I briefly think about shooting another one, but we've already got one and it's early on in the trip, so I decide against it. Down again on another drop, trying to trying to get close to those pinkies. And I have this bronze whaler come in, have a look at me. I poke my gun at it. I don't actually manage to hit it, but I poke my gun at it to kind of push it off me. The sharks in this spot are known for being quite aggressive, so you really want to let them know who's boss early on in the piece. But yeah, it circles around me, and I decide I'm going back to the surface. I'm not going to get close to the pinkies on this drop at all. Back down for another drop, and this time we've found the top of the reef here. We weren't exactly sure where it was. Ollie didn't have his fish finder with him, so we kind of went by phone and found the reef by phone, but we weren't exactly sure where the top of it was. But yeah, I find the top of it and line up this nice pink Mau Mau and take a shot. <laughs> and the spear actually hits it, but it must just be a glancing blow. But it looks like it's stunned, so I chase it down and try and grab it. But uh, in the confusion, it gets away from me. And then I look over and see this bronzy coming back for a look. 
It's all on. <laughs> I shot one. I stunned it. It ripped off. I chased it down. Went to grab it. It got away from me. I look over here as a bronzy. <laughs> it's all on. <laughs> Yes, we're right on it here. Yeah. Another dive, and this time I'm pretty confident I'm going to get one. And so I line it up and take a long shot. And I nail it. And this is Ollie's view, he's watching me. And uh, yeah, finally, finally managed to get the pink Mau Mau. I'd certainly worked pretty hard for it. And as you can see, it's a beautiful, fat, pink Mau Mau. Got it with a nice shot through the side. And I have to say, I am pretty stoked. Look how pink it is. It's coming right up. I take the pinky back to the boat and me and Ollie have a bit of a chat. We decide that we're pretty much done so it's back to the boat to climb on and head off to a different spot to do something a bit different. Oh what a, what a mint dive that was. Man we got straight in and um, Ollie pretty much called me over, I'd only just got in, he's like, kingies, kingies, kingies. <laughs> so I called over and he was on a pretty nice king, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah stoked. <laughs> so uh, since, he was on, since he was on a king, I decided I wasn't going to shoot one. There was no point in shooting two this early in the game. Um, so yeah, he, he got his nice king in, then I did another drop while he was dealing with his king. Shot that uh, Trevally, which is... Nice, nice, nice bit of sashimi. Love me a bit of trevally, and uh, then we've just both shot a couple of pinkies. And actually, as I'm talking, I've got a dolphin approaching. Really? Yeah, just over here. Nice. <laughs> oh no, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> here they are. Yoo yeah, anyway, as I was rudely interrupted by those uh, dolphins, I was going to show you the fish. So we'll just uh, show you the bin. It's looking pretty healthy. Yeah. Pink Mau Mau, Kingfish. There's a Trevally under there. You beauty. What are we up to now, Ollie? Well, I want a coffee somewhere in a sheltered cove. And then um, I wouldn't mind hunting some snapper. Yeah, we're in the north. Northland, it's... Um, not a common dive from up here, it's about five hours from home, so um, the snapper is good up here. It's good snapper hunting, so I'm keen to um, yeah, have a good little hunt with the snapper. Alright, well, we've come into a nice little rocky area, and we're going to see if we can find a snapper or two. Ollie's got his kingfish head, he's going to take that, chuck it down as a burly. He's going to that point, and I think I'm going to go to this point. And we'll see how we do. I make my way up to the point that I was going to and I find the area where the current's hitting the point and I make a drop on it and have this little school of sweet come rushing in at me. They are all fired up. Pretty good sign, there's probably a predator or two around. And off in the distance I see there's a few snapper schooling up. Might not be able to see it in the footage here, but there's definitely a few snapper schooling up. So what I've actually done here is I've broken up a bunch of kinner over the ledge and here I am coming to have a look. And it's kind of a little bit difficult, there was just enough swell to make it really difficult to get down there without being seen. Probably the wrong place to put a burley. The right place in terms of having lots of fish there, but the wrong place because of the swell. But yeah, as I look over, you can see there are a 
bunch of snapper on it. They are just everywhere. Heaps and heaps and heaps of them. The only problem is they're all pretty small. And yeah, I end up checking this burly a few times. There just seem to be a lot of little snapper on it. I do end up shooting one as nothing bigger seems to be coming in on it. Wow, well, there's a lot of snapper there. <laughs> nothing of any size, but... <laughs> Yeah, all right, we made it back to the hut. It was getting really cold actually, like, oh, really cold. The water got really murky. I only shot the one snapper in that spot, just one little snapper, so, um, yeah, we pulled the pin. We decided we'd come back to the hut, have a regroup, have a bit of lunch. It's um, probably a bit after lunchtime now. Have a bit of lunch and um, maybe Maybe we'll wait for the tide to turn. Might bring some cleaner water in. I'll probably smash two. I'll probably smash two fillets. <laughs> That's called um, tenderizing. We're uh, down at the boat, we just uh, grabbed some fish for dinner. So we're gonna have a couple of pink mau mau and uh, a bit of sashimi. All right, fillet session's on. One trevally, a couple of pink mau mau. Let's get it worked out. All right, we're all filleted up. We got some nice Beautiful pink mau mau fillets, and we've got our trevally here, and uh, we're just going to do our trevally sashimi. So we'll just take our beautiful little knife here, and uh, my brother-in-law actually bought this knife for me back from Japan, and I actually really like it. It's flat ground on one side, and the bevel's only on one side. It's really good for cutting up sashimi. So we will cut that up. Alrighty, simple as that. We um, I don't think we've got any soy and wasabi, so we're just gonna have to eat it like this. Mmm. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try one. First. Just try a completely raw one. It's pretty damn good. Always a way forward with seafood. Wow. Stunning. It's soft, eh? It's pretty good. Good flavour. Good flavour, all right. Mm. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. How fresh, mm. eh? Oh, nice perfect. A little bit of spur lemon, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at the sunset at our little party for the night. Man. All right, check that sky out behind me. Oh my God. Just gets better and better. Uh, Ollie has been the man and has got some fish happening here. Our pink mau mau in his little cob Shh, grill. Getting close. It's a little tester. That one's oh, that's cooked. Near, yeah, yeah they're done. Just, okay, no, just that Maybe one, not right. that one, yeah. Mm. So yeah, the battery in my other camera just died. But anyway, we've uh, got this pink mau mau here. Beautifully cooked up. We've got some salad, we've got some wraps, we've got a bit of butter. We've got a bit of more, a bit more going on there. There's some coleslaw there. I reckon that is dinner. Mean. All right, here we go. Fish wrap. Let's have a go. Mmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect.
good. <laughs> Alrighty, it's a new day and we've only just made it to the boat in time before the boat went high and dry. We were supposed to go for a night dive last night, see if we could get some craze at night. And we came down here and the boat was high and dry. So we got up nice and early this morning. Um, Ollie's actually already been out, moved the boat further out and it's still about to go dry, but we're down here in time now. We're all suited up. Plan is we're going back to the reef where Ollie shot the kingy yesterday. We're gonna hit that, try get me a kingy, and then we'll go and hit a few cray spots, see if we can load up on some crayfish. So back at the reef and the first thing I notice are a bunch of these fat, fat kohuru swimming around. And normally I would wait to see if a kingfish was going to come in, but because they are so fat, I shot one because I really, really wanted to eat them. They are so delicious when they're this fat. They are so, so tasty. They make the creamiest, fattiest sashimi that you could possibly imagine. So yeah, I'm pulling the fish in and it rips off. Ollie's watching me and uh, yeah, sees it ripped off. Sorry. <laughs> Quite bad, it was a shit shot. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, they're so fat. I, like I would normally probably would wait and see if a king came in, but. They're so fat, I wanna eat one. <laughs> so while I'm busily reloading my gun, Ollie makes a drop and here they are, straight away the kingfish. So yeah, Ollie comes back to the surface, flicks the rubbers of his gun, grunts a whole lot, shakes the gun, and the idea is to keep the kingies interested while I load my gun. He's doing me a real solid. Finally, I get the gun loaded and make a drop on them. They're starting to get disinterested at this stage, so they're kind of taking off a little bit. But I'm grunting as I drop, and I managed to keep them interested enough to turn around again. There's one nice big fat one in the school that I'm eyeing up. And when it comes close enough to me, I reach out, take a shot. And yes, this is very embarrassing. My shot just flies under the fish and I totally miss. I can only imagine what Ollie was thinking as he was watching me. He's probably going, you idiot. <laughs> Anyway, I put it behind me, make another drop, and that's right, there's another bronze whaler. Pretty cool to see all the uh, big kuhiru swimming with them, and I'm once again thinking about shooting one, but kind of think it might not be the best idea with the bronzy right there. Probably a good chance that he'd turn and take it off the shaft, possibly cutting my shooting line at the same time, so I decide I'm not going to shoot it. But uh, I'm pretty happy to see the reef. It means we're pretty much found the reef again. That bronzy's down there circling. Now that we've found the reef, I decide I'm going to go down and sit on top of the reef and have a look and see what comes in. 
Just see if those kingies might come into me if I'm sitting just on top of the reef. And now that I'm down here, I notice there's a beautiful school of pink mau mau there. I grunt a little bit. I really want to get those kingies interested. And then I look at the school of pink mau mau. I half think about shooting one, but I'm really hanging out for the kingies. And would you look at that? That bronze whale is back, and he's curious. He comes in really close, so I have to give him a real good prod. Remind him that I'm the boss here. And, uh, yeah, Ollie's watching me from above, watches me prod him off. Quite hard case. <laughs> I was a bit high, I was filming but I don't know if I caught it <laughs> Fuck he was nosy He was nosy alright Back down there again and I've actually had a few drops since the shark came in And the kingfish aren't coming in so I've pretty much decided at this point that I'm going to take a pinky if I get a chance so yeah, drop back down onto the pin and one of the things when you're shooting pinkies is if you can get to the rock they become a lot more friendly so I'll just sort of drop down onto the rock here and you can see them all start coming in. Line up this nice fat one, pull the trigger and yeah I've got me pinky at least. Bit of a consolation prize for missing the kingfish earlier but I am still happy with it because they are delicious. And yeah, as I come up, Ollie makes a drop and films me pulling this fish in. It was really nice to have that other person filming, get the third person viewpoint. And uh, I give it the spear to the brain and load it into my float boat because we're kind of a wee way away from Ollie's boat at this point. So a bit later on I start chasing some surface schools and find these kuheru. So I reach out and shoot this one and I've got a bit of a better shot in this one than the last one. And so I'm pulling it in and I'm not rushing, I'm kind of taking my time a little bit. I'm hoping that the fish's struggles might bring in those kingfish from earlier. So yeah, just just casually pull it in, and once I get it to me, I actually slip it back onto the spear, and then load the gun with the fish still on the spear. The priority here is to get the gun loaded as soon as possible, just in case those kingies do show up. Yeah. Unfortunately, in this case, the kingfish don't show up again. So I make another drop on the reef and find this beautiful school of sweep just cruising along and like a huge snake. And I think they're actually headed to the other side of the reef. I think this is probably change of tide here. And they're all just cruising over to the other side of the reef in preparation for when the current's going to start running the other way. But yeah, quite a, quite a beautiful sight to see. No luck for me on the kings, unfortunately. But uh, I have managed to score these nice pinky and big fat koheru. So um, wasn't a wasn't a total loss, and uh, was a little bit of fun poking that shark out of the way. So uh, things have quietened off here a bit. So we decided we're going to move. 
not entirely sure what the plan is just yet, but I'm sure we're going to come up with something. We moved into the shallows and started hunting out for some crayfish. We went to a bunch of spots where I've found them before and this is one of them where they kind of hide out in the cracks in the super shallow and this is right around the right time of year for them to be in the shallows so I'm checking all these little holes and cracks and things where I've found them in the past but for whatever reason and I don't know what it is there's nobody home. We dive a couple of spots and then I take Ollie to this spot and tell him that it's very possible that we'll find a Spanish lobster here and sure enough he finds one. Nice, nice little Spanish lobster. These guys are pretty delicious. They taste very much like crayfish. Uh, very strange looking creature but very delicious. I did say it was a Spanish spot, didn't I? Nice. Finally, after a lot of looking, I find a spot that's holding a few crayfish. And so I head down in here, there are a bunch of pack horse crayfish and they are too small, but on the previous dive I'd actually seen a red crayfish that I thought might make it to legal. So head down in there, have a grab, get my hand to it. Little bit of a struggle, but get it out of there. And then have a look at it on the way to the surface and realize it is just way too small. Way too small. Well, we're a little bit unlucky really. We cruised off to try and find some crayfish and uh, Ollie actually got a nice little red and a, a Spanish lobster but I, I didn't manage to find any. But uh, that's the way it goes sometimes I guess. Uh, we are back at the hut here and uh, we're about to go and just get all our gear, get packed up, jump back across the mainland and uh, yeah get out of here but oh it's been a beautiful day today like it's really really nice just absolutely scenes all right we're back we are gonna sort all our gear out on the boat sort our fish out and uh get out of here what do you reckon ollie i reckon mate pie and a coffee time pie and a coffee <laughs> <laughs> Sounds pretty good actually. Yeah. Didn't eat much for breakfast and it's after midday now, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm starving. <laughs> Fuel the machine. Oh, well, we'll get this stuff sorted and we'll get out of here. All right, we're all sorted out. Ollie kindly gave me half of his kingfish. So I've got a decent amount of fish with me cowie, me pinky, me snapper, and half a kingfish. So pretty awesome. Just want to say massive thanks to you, Ollie. Easy, bro. Cheers, Kerry, for the adventure, man. That was good. Bit of local knowledge. Yeah. He, put, he put me on the craze, and then <laughs> yeah, they weren't showing up for himself. But hey, that's, that's diving, eh? Yeah. Main trip. That's diving, all right. That's it for sure. So, yeah, massive thanks to you, Ollie. Sweet, bro. Do it again? Yep. Definitely. All right, everyone. That is it for this video. Uh, it's actually been a few weeks since we did this mission and I've been really busy so I just haven't really had time to finish off and edit it but uh, yeah stoked to have it done and stoked to have it out there for you guys to watch and uh, yeah gotta say a massive thank you to Ollie for making it all happen I will leave a link in the description for Ollie's video of the trip if you guys haven't seen Ollie he makes awesome spearfishing videos as well and uh yeah i will leave it at that so thanks for watching see you in that next one cheers